off in like my last vlog and all that, but um, I, oh fuck. Just dropped my phone. I am going, uh, hi guys, so I know it's been like a couple of days, but you know, I just needed to jump on here and tell you guys what I'm doing. I'm going to try and finally wash my hair. I am catching up on some YouTube videos, having a beverage, and yeah, so I will check back in with you guys as soon as I wash my hair because it's disgusting. And can I just say that ever since my surgery, my hair falls out horrifically. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's so bad. It's not even funny. So yeah, I'm going to go wash it and try to put some like protein stuff in it and make it look normal. But I'll come back and talk to you guys in a little bit. Hi guys. Okay. So I totally been off of my vlogging game as you all know, but I need to get back in and jump in, but I just haven't been feeling very well, but I'm going to show you guys what I got in the mail yesterday. Um, I got them off of this site called Zenny. I don't know if you guys have like heard of it, but it's like Zenny.com, Z-E-N-N-I-E. And I got two new pairs of glasses for literally $6.95 each. And shipping was only like $4.95. And like there's no coatings on the frames or, or the lenses or anything. But I just thought they were so cute just to wear, just to order for like to have a cute pair of glasses. Let me open them if I can get it. And I burnt the snot out of my finger. Can you guys see that on a glue gun? It hurts so bad, but um, look how freaking cute these are. As I make you guys all dizzy. Look how cute for $6.95. Aren't they so cute? So I got these ones. Like there's, I guess there's anti, I don't know. There's one kind of coating on it. It said, I just got like the free um, lenses that came with it, but... So there's these ones, and then I got this stinking cute red pair, and I want to order more, but hold on. Okay, sorry, I'm back. I was just having a struggle opening those, but look at these red ones. So the first ones are pink, and these ones are red. So cute, huh? I want to jump on and order more, but I just think they're so cute. I'm not, like, sponsored by this company or anything. I just thought they were cute, so I wanted to show you guys. But yeah, I'm going to watch some YouTube videos and kind of relax for a little bit. Sunday, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Yay! <laughs> okay, so we are going to IHOP because we're going to get some food and we are so excited. Look who I'm with. Tracy turn la <laughs> And we are going to have so much fun. So we'll see you at the restaurant. Bye. Hi guys, so what do you know? It's another day because I'm horrible at vlogging, but oh well. So I'm going to make this um, food and I want to show you guys because I want to start eating spaghetti squash because it's supposed to be like super good for you so it's this recipe and it calls for I'll show you so I got one spaghetti squash and then I got some bacon it doesn't call for mushrooms but I'm gonna put mushrooms in it and then baby spinach and then goat cheese and I think it's supposed to be kind of like a carbonara thing let me show you uh, let me find the pictures can you see that? Get a focus. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to make, and I'm going to try it, and I bet it's good. My cousin Kira made it the other day, and she said she really liked it, but she put too much goat cheese. But I need to go get some red wine vinegar, so I have to run to the store. So I'm going to start the spaghetti squash while I... Um, and then run to the store while that's cooking. So the very first thing it tells you to do is to cut the ends of the spaghetti squash off and then throw those pieces away and then slice it like this way. So I'll do that and then I'll show you guys. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but cutting a spaghetti squash is the hardest dang thing I've ever done in my life. I literally cannot get it to cut at all. And I've tried two different knives. Does that mean I picked a bad spaghetti squash or something? I don't know. Well, I'm going to continue to keep trying to cut this, but I just thought I'd throw that in there. So beware. Okay, so we finally gave up trying to cut it the way that, like, the video says. So we just cut it in half like this and then gutted it. And then I put some extra virgin olive oil all over it and then seasoned it with, like, salt and pepper. So I'm going to bake it at 400, and I'm trying to figure out how long I cook it for. Let's see. Season with salt and pepper, then flip. 
for 30 minutes and then I will start doing the bacon and all of that. Bye. So look who's here. Hey. He came to have dinner. So after I cook this, now the recipe called for it to like cook for half an hour at 400, but it's been in almost an hour and it's just barely done. So, and I think I put too much oil, so I'll have to perfect that next time. But so now I'm gonna, in a pan, oh, I left my phone downstairs. Do the maple syrup, the red wine vinegar, the mushrooms, the cheese and all that. And then I'll show you the finished product and I'll link like the recipe down below. But so we're gonna finish cooking and then we're gonna eat really yummy food. This fat boy promised me he would watch a scary movie with me. And now he's trying to go back on it. I'm scared. So I'm going to spit in his food. <laughs> <laughs> so we cut the bacon. And now, and I just got, I guess I should show you guys the bacon I got, huh? I won't show you what my garbage looks like. But I got the Applegate Naturals Good Morning Bacon Uncured. So 60% less fat than regular bacon. What? I don't really know. I really don't know how to cook, so don't let this fool you. <laughs> <laughs> so now it says to cook your bacon, and then when the bacon is done, it said to add the red wine vinegar. And I guess that will like de what did it say? Decaramelize or deglaze or something, the pan. So the bacon flavor like stays in your food or whatever. And then we're gonna add the maple syrup, which I got sugar free. Sugar free maple flavored and then i just got like the kroger brand red wine vinegar and then there's the spinach i got and then it doesn't call for mushrooms but like i said i'm gonna add mushrooms and it said to get like crumble goat cheese but i just got this at my work sam's club and it's just like creamy goat cheese so i don't know but so we're gonna let this finish cooking but that spaghetti squash looks so good i want to put butter on it and just eat it but yeah other than that, chef boy our friends. <laughs> oh, this looks so stinking good. And the spaghetti squash literally looks like spaghetti when you peel it. I think I'm gonna start buying a ton of spaghetti squash. And they were only 89 cents a pound at Winco. At Smith's and Walmart, they were like $1.68, so. Oh, I'm so excited. It's a winter squash, isn't it? Yeah, so I think somebody said that it was. I think that's why somebody that's on my comment said, hard. yeah, that it's hard and that's why it smells like a pumpkin or something. Yeah, Mom, your salad needed peas. Yeah. More mushrooms, or is that like a... I don't know. It's up to you. Yummy. You want to vlog for a little bit? No problem. Okay, be careful, because you're covering the mic. Oh. Yeah, so you have to be careful on that side. Hi. Eyebrows on fleek. <laughs> Just kidding. So I'm here with Lindsay. We're about to cook while we are cooking. <laughs> Spaghetti crush. Please watch a scary movie with me. It's not that scary. Yeah, of course. Should we show them the progress of my body? Yeah. Look at well, how I am getting definitely the bat wings, but I'm okay with that because... She looks amazing no matter how many bat wings she has. And I am getting the saggy skin here, but I don't care. And my scars are healing nicely. So, and I wear my underwear high now. <laughs> Yeah, we should have, I should have put the mushroom. Okay, so we just did one teaspoon of the red wine vinegar and you turn up the heat and you put the one teaspoon of red wine vinegar in it and then you turn it down and then you um, add one teaspoon of the maple syrup but which we got the sugar free and then it says to add um, five ounces of baby spinach and then you just put it in and then just keep adding it handful by handful. So yeah, and you then we'll probably, we do? no, maybe two. I don't like spinach that much. You do though, right? Your dish. Um, so then I then I guess we just add the cheese and then it says serve immediately. So we'll show you the finished product here in a second. 
So here's the finished product. Getty squash a little bit too long, but it still looks super good. And then I'll show you what it looks like on the plate and then we're going to eat it. So here is our food. It looks so freaking delicious. I can't wait to dig into it. So let's eat and then we'll go watch a movie. Okay. Hi guys. So it's the next day and Justin left. I literally just woke up like not even 15 minutes ago. Like as you can tell, I still have like morning voice. But I'm trying to go tanning real quick because, well, actually, I'm just going to end the vlog and then I'll probably start a new vlog. But leave me comments down below and tell me if my vlogs are boring because they're just like little clips from throughout the day. So, I don't know. Just let me know if you guys want to keep, if you want me to keep doing them or not. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will turn off the camera and then start a new one. But let me know if you like them. Okay? Have a good day, guys. Bye. Bye.